So, we are here with week eight already, <laughs> which is crazy because uh, we're almost to the halfway point of the regular season. Um, I, I don't even know what to say. <laughs> this These past two months have really flown by, which is just crazy to think about. Um, I, th there's some games in here where it really could go either way. Uh, for example, in my opinion, the Raiders and Saints game. I don't know who. I, I, I'm picking the Saints for that one, obviously, but I, I don't know who could win that. Uh, our Thursday night game here, which we're going to start at the top. I know I kind of skipped ahead, but, um, you know, I'm picking Baltimore, but it's in Tampa, and Tampa could bounce back. So I I don't know. I, I don't know. I'm going to go with Baltimore because <laughs> that's, that's my gut feeling right now as I'm making this. Um, maybe it'll change by Sunday, but... You know, I, I'm not doing a video on Sunday because we have a Thursday night game. So, uh, yeah, we'll see. I'm going with Baltimore. Uh, Denver, Jacksonville. <laughs> Battle of the mid. Um, and I'm just going with Jacksonville just because they're at home. And, uh, yeah, I, yeah, no real other reason for that. <laughs> Carolina, Atlanta. Um, this one, I'm excited for this one, to be honest, because... Um, I think the winner becomes first in the division next week. Well, if I think if Tampa loses, no, because Carolina, well, if Carolina loses, I believe they are in first. If Atlanta, uh, wait, did I say, no, if Carolina wins, excuse me, if Carolina wins, they're in first, but Atlanta would be in second if Tampa won, um, because Tampa beat them, but Carolina just beat Tampa. So only Carolina could be in first place. Um, if they uh, win against uh, Atlanta in Atlanta too, I do have them winning. Uh, this will be an interesting game, though. You know, for both teams. So Chicago, Dallas. I mean, Chicago looked good last night, and people were talking about how you know the New England defense wasn't that uh, wasn't supposed to be that bad, and then the run game shredded them. They had over two hundred rushing yards. So. I, I think Dallas's defense is probably better, so this might be a better test for them. I do have Dallas winning at home against them, but this might be a close game. It might be. Uh, Miami, Detroit. Miami is going to win this because two is back. He has another week under his belt of practices again and whatnot, so I, I think they should be able to win. Um, and I don't think they're going to need you know him to do everything because uh, it's the Lions. I, I, I said the Lions ceiling was the wild card at the start of the season, and I still feel that way. Uh, but they might be stuck in the basement <laughs> yet, yet again. So uh, Arizona uh, heads to Minneapolis. I I don't know. I I have a little more belief in the Cardinals after last week. They put up, I think it was at 42 points or 44 points or something, I think. I forget what they put up. They put up a lot of points, a lot of points last week. So <laughs> they can score. Minnesota is, uh, I believe they had a bye last week. So they're coming off a bye. Two weeks to prepare for this. They're at home. Um, I, I think, you know, this might be an interesting matchup. I do have Arizona winning uh, just because, I, I don't know, like, Minnesota hasn't really played. Well, they lost to the Eagles, but outside of that, they haven't played in a good team, really, outside of the Eagles who they lost to. So, uh, but is Arizona good? I don't know. <laughs> So, uh, I believe in Kyler. I, I think, you know, DeAndre Hopkins come, coming back. This is uh, second week back. So, um, again, you know, a week of practice for him, too. So, I, I think they'll be on the you know a better page. So, I think that I, I have him winning in a close one. So, uh, then again, like I was talking about before, Raiders head to New Orleans. Uh, I have the Saints winning just because this is a battle of two teams that I just don't know how to feel about. I don't know if they're good or not. Um and Saints are at home. I like I like the Saints at home for this game. Uh, New England has to the Jets. I think the Jets are going to win. I, I think the Jets are a good team. Um, but it's New England, so I guess New England could just pound them in the ground. <laughs> they could. Pittsburgh heads to Philly. Uh, Philly extends their uh, winning streak. 
Tennessee heads to Houston. Tennessee's going to win that. Washington heads to Indy. Both teams are eh. I, I like Washington chances better with Taylor Heineke than I do with uh, Carson Wentz. So if Taylor Heineke's playing, that's who he should be playing. I'm picking them. Uh, San Francisco heads to the Rams. I don't know. I'm going with the Rams. This one's a coin flip. Could be either or, but I'm just going to go with the Rams for this one. Uh, then my game of the week. Uh, I think Seattle is a lot better than what people give them credit for. Right now they are leading the West, and I think the Giants uh, are going to win the game, but I think it'll be a fun game. Uh, Buffalo is going to stomp Green Bay. I don't even talk about that. And then Cincinnati-Cleveland. I don't know. Cleveland's kind of fallen. So I'm going to go with Cincinnati here um, just because I feel like they're on the rise again. So uh, just a little, it's real quick today. Not much to talk about this week. But for now, like the video, share the video around. Don't subscribe. Uh, and I'm out of here. Peace.